there, this is Gary Wilkins, Southeast Regional Sales Manager for Command Light. Today we're out at our local fire department who's been gracious enough to let us come out and record this product informational video for you, where we're not going to be able to be at a trade show near you for quite some time. We hope you're staying home, staying safe, and we thank you for watching this video. Today we've got our H5 Shadow Series Traffic Flow Board and our add-on accessory traffic advisor on the back of a Shadow Series light tower here that we're going to be talking about. And we're going to be talking about the reason you need to consider specking a traffic advisor on the back of your next apparatus. We're also going to think about how we can save lives and protect the citizens and protect our firemen at the same time. The local fire department's actually got a very nice setup for this here. They've got these lines painted on the side of the road and while this here is going to be signifying a little bit more than our traditional style interstate, we can simply think of this as an emergency lane and the lane of travel that we're trying to take so we can give us our buffer zone. And Traffic Incident Management System teaches us to park our trucks at a 45 degree angle, which is similar to what we've got set up here. And as you can see, they've done a great job. This fire department here uh, responds mostly to rural two lane highways, doesn't have any major four lane interstates in their response jurisdiction. So a great traffic advisor for them taking just one lane of travel is a good option having it flush mounted on the rear. However, if we're thinking of much larger response, if we're gonna be taking more than one lane, we're dealing with three or four, lanes we need to be considering how we're going to articulate that traffic advisor now some people have addressed this problem by putting on uh, additional warning lights on the side of the body they'll go and put six eight leds on the side of the body there and they'll flash them they have the ability to turn them on turn them off and while that's not a bad idea the problem is is it looks just like another warning light because it's the same size same similar situation and we're not giving a really really clear and concise message as to what we're wanting the general public to do so from this message here, you can see they've got the traffic advisor on. You can see it, it's not very bright, uh, but uh, that's no fault of their own. It's simply the LEDs are directional LEDs, light emitting diodes. They're pointing straight out where they're going off at the 45 degree angle. Now, if we come back over here to my demo products up in there, we've got our Shadow H5 and our Shadow RTB with uh, our traditional style elevated light towers. Now our Shadow's got the uh, traffic advisor on it's got it pointed off to the left and that's going to give us the ability to control it using our touchpad controller this here is going to give you the ability to go from traffic right to left as we've got it going there from left to right as we've done by simply clicking that single button right there it says arrow from center out to warning to solid white. Now what's unique about this traffic flow board here on the back of the shadow is the fact that we can't turn it on solid white. That's 3,300 additional lumens that you're adding to the back of the light tower, not including the ability to rotate that bottom row of lights 180 degrees using our backlight option that we will talk about in later videos. Now the other option we've got shown here is the Shadow H5 traffic flow board. It's got seven different flash pattern options got left, left flashing, center out, warning, solid center out, flashing right, solid right. Gives you the ability to rotate it uh, 355 degrees all the way around. lights in under 15 seconds. Auto parks for storage, but you don't have to worry about getting it lined up. With a very compact platform, so you're not taking up much space or adding to the overall height of the vehicle. If this is not a mounting option available for you, we do also offer another platform, which would be our V5 and our V7. Mentioned earlier that we've got four different options available in Traffic Flowboard Series. And that's gonna be a rectangular box, ideal for mounting at the front of a hose bed or in a dunnage area to allow you to take that space and turn it into a place for you to use uh, your traffic advisor at. And to give you that rotation so that you can safely block a lane and give a clear message. 
We thank you for watching our video today. If you'd like more information, you can go on our website, request a catalog from there. We've got regional sales managers across the United States ready to assist you. You can find our contact information there as well. We thank you very much. We hope you stay safe. And we look forward to you coming to see our next video. Again, I'm Gary Wilkins, Southeast Regional Sales Manager. Have a great day.